Welcome to another episode of Soil King in the giant pumpkin patch. I mean, come on. We love junior farmers and we produce and give seeds to all the kids in the area, even far and beyond. And we teach them how to grow giant pumpkins. So this is a great educational class right here on how to do it. You're gonna follow this series. This is gonna be an exciting series. At the end of the year at the Soil King Garden Center, every year we have the Giant Pump King competition. So the winner of that contest, we have adult class and a junior class. The winner of that class gets a thousand dollars, which is pretty neat. So this year we're gonna have a crane out here and we're gonna raise the crane up with a pumpkin on it, release it, it's gonna hit the ground and smash, and we're gonna give all the kids little baggies, and we're gonna say, go collect the seeds, and we're gonna give them a dollar per seed that they collect. So it's a really fun family atmosphere, and if you have never seen or participated in growing giant pumpkins, it is the most addicting cultivation you're ever gonna have and experience. And if you do it in a family atmosphere with your children, your children are gonna get so excited because you can actually see the pumpkins growing every day. Visually, you see it every day. They consume a lot of water, they need a lot of love, and a lot of passion, but the results are like overwhelming with gratitude. And, and to bring your family dynamic together, there's just nothing better, that's what it's about. So, let's get started. I'll explain a little bit. We have a pumpkin over here on this mound. One pumpkin and I'll grow a vine all the way down to the other mound over on the other side. And on the And on the other side, you'll see another pumpkin that's going to grow this way in a vine. So I'll have two vines coming. Hopefully we're two or three giant pumpkins. It's very difficult to get a pumpkin to the end of the year without it imploding, cracking, or something tragic happening. I've had, I have had rats eat holes right through it. So it's uh, it's uh, it's a, I mean, you, it's not, it's freaking fun. Like just watch the season and live and learn. You're gonna love it. So let's get back to the reason why I'm here today, planting a second pumpkin on one of the mountains. Come on over here. So this is my issue I'm having right now. This pumpkin was from a seed that was a world record. It was a 2000, I think 39 or 29 pound, I can't remember offhand, massive pumpkin. And you always gotta give it love and really watch the growth and see what's happening. And here I noticed on this vine, if you could see in here, it's got a twist in it. That twist will most likely create a split on either side and it will restrict the amount of fluids nutrients water and everything that'll go down the vine into the pumpkin plant so i'm nervous about this one so i'm going to plant a second one next to it and kind of watch them both which is a good opportunity for you our viewer to see what the soil king does and how the soil king plants a tomato plant a giant pumpkin plant so let's get busy with that I'm always barefoot, so I'm, I'm a soil guy, and I love it. In the last video, you've seen how we made our uh, ingredients up with our top dress with Mr. B's Green Trees, Azo Spirillium, and uh, worm casting uh, vermicompost from Terra Thrive, which is Terra Vesco. And this was what we made, the concoction right here. This is my little secret recipe that I'm sharing with the world. We have two pumpkins here to choose from. This one, we give a lot of these away. So this one was a night out of a 1911 pound pumpkin right here. This one came out, this one was a 1731 McConley, massive pumpkin. So I'm trying to figure out which one is hard to decide, you know, you never know. But you can see kids, so we, I always grow these and I give away for the junior farmers. But these are the last two that are left over. So I would say, we're gonna pick, we're gonna pick this one. This one's ready to go. You 
can see the root mass that's all around it. The roots are actually starting to go in, which is not a good thing, root bound. I'll dig my hole. I'm gonna dig it next to this one so they can share the same water because I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna keep as a producer yet. But you guys can help me select that through the process when you come back and watch more episodes. So I'll grab a, I'll grab a handful of my secret ingredients, which you guys all know now. I'll mix it in there. I grabbed the pumpkin, I don't like the roots being root bound, so I always pull the roots out. If you want the roots growing out, you don't want them to continue growing in at this point. You want them to start growing out. So you, it's okay if you break a few, you want to get that root mass going out. And you see now how the roots are hanging, they're ready to start going in a different area. Then I like to touch this all around the root, drop it in the hole. Kind of look at where, which way the vine's gonna grow. You wanna direct that vine, you wanna train that vine going a direction. So there we have it. Nice aeration soil. We'll give this one away to a junior farmer this afternoon. And Joe, can you hand me the water? I mean, and that's how easy it is. And hopefully I'll win the giant pumpkin competition this year. And uh, hopefully you'll all be here to help watch. Three years ago, I won it. I haven't won it in the last couple years. People come from all over the country. We've had people show up with massive pumpkins in the back of pickup trucks we've unloaded. It's a really fun time. You're, if you're not in California and you can't come visit us during that time, you're gonna see it on video. So you're still gonna be part of the entire product. And there you have it, planting giant pumpkins with the Soil King 101. I'll see you on the next episode. Hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for the giant pumpkin patch.